So, welcome to this session. We will be discussing coordinates, points, and lines. Coordinates, points, and lines. So, in this, the first section is about distance between two points. But before we go there, I was wondering why did this whole coordinate system look come about? Let's say this coordinate system we know we have heard about this x axis, y axis. Let's talk about a little story. Suppose we had two little ants. My drawing is poor, so excuse me on that. So let's say this is Rob and this is Bob. Okay, so, and this is a, let's take that, this is a big field. Okay, and suppose Rob is going out for some work and he's going to go someplace. It's not clear where he will go, but he's going to go out looking for food. So Rob tells Bob, I will go and then wherever I find food, I will call you. But now the question is, when he calls, how is he going to give directions? Because every place seems to be the same. So then Bob and Rob sit together and they decide, why not, let's make a line across the field and another one which is perpendicular to it. So let's mark this as starting, this line, we should mark this as a zero and across here, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And all the points on the left-hand side of the zero is to minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. And uh, in the Y, or the vertical one, let's make it again here, the positive on the top, one, two, three, four, and down, minus one, minus two, minus 3, minus 4. So, when you reach a particular point, you tell me with respect to these two where you are. Suppose Rob is here, so he could tell him that I am at x is phi. So, if I drop a point down to the x, line drop down to the x, it's a phi. And a line down to the y, it will be 3. So if Rob tells that he is at 5, 3, then Bob could go to 5, 3. So this is this whole system of having coordinates. And this x-axis, this x value, this is also known as the abscissa. abscissa. And the y value is also known as the ordinate. The abscissa and the ordinate. So if you want to remember it, it's ax. Think of ax. And this is a yo. So the ordinate belongs to y. And the abscissa belongs to x. So this uh, is basically how the coordinates are. Suppose I have a point here. I, I'm not sure which is this point. So I have a point, one point here and there is another point down below so there is a so this is x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2 so suppose uh, let me connect these two okay so now this point here is x1 y1 and this point is x2 y2 i want to find the distance between these two Let's draw a perpendicular from here, drop it down over here and let's draw a line, a perpendicular from here and the line so that this meets up here. So we see that this distance, this distance would be y1 and this whole would be y2. So this particular length would be y2 minus y1 and this one if you see this is x1 and from here to here would be x2 so this particular distance would be x2 minus x1 so, so this is a right angle triangle as you have seen this part is 
x2 minus x1 this part and this part is y2 minus y1 so we all know the Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem says that the squares of the sides sum of the squares of the sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse so the sides are x2 minus x1 whole square plus the other side is y2 minus y1 the whole square and this is equal to suppose this is the distance d so it is equal to d square so i could write this as d equals i take square roots on both sides I'm just writing the d on this side is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so if two points are given the two co and the coordinates of two points are given x1 y1 and x2 y2 the distance is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so this is the first part of this lesson coordinates points and lines